Welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of the Inner Health Project. I'm your co-host, Chris Angel, here with your host, Hannah Getty. Hannah, hello there. Hi, Chris. Good to see you. Good to talk to you. You too. We had a good green room time before hitting record. And uh, in this episode, we're talking about embracing failure and self-doubt to grow and learn. I mean, how painful is that? You know, nobody wants to <laughs> embrace their <laughs> failure and their self-doubt. But I do right. think it's, re- I think it's, I think it's part of the human condition. I think it's part of what happens. And so I'm curious how you've experienced that, what you've learned, like tell us some of the tricky places you've been and how you move through that. Right. So recently, um, I had a, a week of where I was feeling just very emotional and I, I ended up doing some emotional eating. I was eating poorly yeah. and I could feel it and it just brought on a lot of, of negative thoughts of what I, what I was telling myself um, that well, who, who are you to to anybody who how good are you to anyone if how can you how can you advise people or or help other people when you're sabotaging yourself right now right and yeah and I, all this judgment came up and i felt i just felt like i'm i'm a nobody and i don't have anything to offer anybody at, at that point yeah and really being in it just felt it felt low and it felt the, like yeah. the vibration of it was very heavy yeah um i mean it's it's a heavy thing to think about when you're you're telling yourself over and over in your mind all these lies that mm-hmm. you've picked up like what a lie. Um, give me an example of a lie like you're just not good enough oh right or yeah. people just don't want to hear what you have to say mm-hmm. i mean that's something that i've carried with me for such a long time and it's manifested in many different ways, um, but particularly in me shutting shutting my mouth and not and not um, huh. right. being being genuine or not not that I'm not genuine, but I'm not saying what I should yeah. be saying at yeah. that moment. Um, I, think it's, I think a lot of people have, um, especially givers, people who have a heart for people, see stuff. We see stuff in the world. And we, we might even have a perspective about it. Like, I think I have perspective on health. I think I have perspective on how to raise kids. I think I have perspective on whatever it is that we see in the world. And, but then all of these lies, like you said, can cause us to shrink, you know, and it feels very heavy and we don't actually end up saying anything when it could have made a difference, but there's too much self-doubt and judgment to for us to move through that. So how did you, like, how did you move through that? Cause you're clearly on the other side and here you are like in a show, you could have called me and said, I quit. We're not doing my show anymore. Cancel my show. Right? And yet here you are. Pushing through. You I was, I mean, I, well, sometimes or I just get stressed out before the show. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the night before or the morning before I'm like, what am I going to say? What are we going to talk about? You know, just freaked out. Mm-hmm and worried that, that I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to have anything of value to say to people. Um, but how I got through that was, um, I talked to my business coach and Mm -hmm. she said, you know, what are you, what are you actually telling yourself? Cause at that point I didn't realize Mm -hmm. the the talking that was going on in my head, Mm -hmm. the lies that I was saying. And she, she's, she just pointed that out to me. And I think if you get a different perspective, whether it's from a friend or a coach or a mentor or just um, a podcast, right. um, yeah. that can really kind of shake you a little bit and make you look at things a little bit differently and yeah. shift your perspective and get out of that funk of, of failure being, or you being a failure and you, you being this of no value to people. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. That, I love that. And then I also started to really think about, well, what am I really telling myself? And I went a little deeper and I kind of wrote down all those, those lies that keep coming back. Yeah. Um, wow. The fact that I don't have anything good to say to people or they don't, or it's not a value that lies. 
I know that one. It's, it's keeps coming back at me and it's yeah. something that I just have to keep, keep working at. And I like having this show because it keeps me accountable. Mm -hmm. Um, because I've made a commitment to you and to people that are, are watching that I'm going to be here and be present. Mm -hmm. And I, I like that I, I'm kind of forcing myself to uh, be accountable to myself and everyone else that, yeah. that see this show. So, yeah. um, so I can't give up on it. You I, know? Know. <laughs> I think from a, if, like, as long as we're being candid. So from a, um, there, there's this thing that I think when you, start to experience um have you this is this is episode seven so in the, and you may be experiencing what i'm about to ask you now but in seven episodes have you felt like as much as you are nervous or judgy before the conversation on the other side of having the conversation do you actually feel like oh, something good came out of that oh definitely i feel i feel like yeah we nailed it like, yeah that that right. you know, I may have some sort of expectations, but right. they came out better than I thought it would. And yeah. um, it just feels good to get it out there. I'm kind of glad it's done. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, that's okay too. The vibration of it's so different though, right? Like the vibration before yeah. is very heavy and small and dark and after it's very light and big, yes. And airy. Yes? Yes, there, and there's sometimes when I walk away and I just feel, I just feel so good. And it's like, even if nobody watched it, I, I had a good conversation right. with Chris and right. you right. know, that's, that's enough. You yeah. Know? I think that's part of that. I mean, the, the whole, the, the name of the show is the inner health project. I think part of inner health is starting to access these higher vibrations. And it's weird that, um, I think sometimes we try to, we try to create our inner health on our own and we shoulder all of it. Right. And so, um, we put a ton of pressure on ourselves to have the answer for our own inner health. We put a lot of expectations on being perfect on the path to inner health. Like, you know, like if I, I can't eat emotionally, eating emotionally means I'm a failure and a, and a fraud. Um, and so there's all this pressure, but when you get outside of yourself and you talk to a coach who gives you perspective and says, well, what are you saying to yourself? Or you, you, you put yourself on the line to have a conversation about the things you know are important to you, like this show. And you start to actually engage the conversations that are important to you. The reason it feels so good is because we're stepping into who we are. Like we're having the conversation we want to have, you know, that's inner health, I think. Exactly. And, and I'm sharing, you know, my human experience and yeah. my coach also said that, you know, that probably makes you more qualified to talk about what you're going through because yeah. you're being real with people and you're showing them that, you know, it's not always going to be a positive experience. It's going to be up and down, but it's how you react and how you learn from it that, that makes you who you are. And yeah, it's. I 100% agree. Yeah. yeah. I think we talked about this before, before recording, but um, I do think that there is a, um, it's scary to be a leader. Like you, you starting the show was an act of leadership. You're leading a conversation about inner health. Right? It's not even necessarily a conversation where, where we're saying we have all the answers. We're facilitating a conversation where we're, we're saying, like, let's look at our inner health. And sometimes that starts with telling one on ourselves, like throwing ourselves under the bus and being the first one to be vulnerable in the conversation. I mean, if we were having coffee, typically the first one to be vulnerable opens the door for the other one to be vulnerable. And so I think for us to really get honest about our health, right, for people listening, yeah. We have to get honest about our own first. And I think that's the, that's the courage it takes to be a leader, to lead a conversation for sure. Yeah. I, I, and it's, it's scary. It's, and it's, yeah. I never thought of myself as a leader before mm. and mm. just accepting that and letting that sink in is, it's been a little bit of a process as well, but yeah. um, it feels good. Yeah. I think, well, I think because uh, how we define leadership is, sort of skewed. Like, I think there's a lot of stories and around what leadership is. And I think, you know, leadership um, in its truest form is just simply helping others get to where they want to go. Right. And that's, I mean, that's what you're doing with the show. It's what you do as a massage therapist. You're leading people in their health. Right. And, and I, I want to be, be vulnerable to people 
so they can feel comfortable and right, like you said, reciprocate if they want to, you know, right. feel like it's okay, it's, it's safe and um, yeah. I've got hangups too. <laughs> you yeah, know? right, absolutely. We're yeah, all on, a, on our own journey, but we can, we can also support each other through that. I think there's, do you know, um, Brene Brown? Yes. yes. Love her work. I love her yeah. work. I really feel like there's this shift in consciousness of, I feel like people are starting to embrace vulnerability, mm -hmm. um, way more than they used. I think it was, and it's, I mean, there's still a ton of, of posturing and puffing. And if you go to social media, everything looks perfect. And, but I think there's this, um, there's a conversation that's been started. And people yeah. are starting to um, be more vulnerable and not, not pretend that they have it all together. And I think that is going to usher in a complete uh, reinvention for us as people, because the minute we start getting honest, we can actually make change. I don't think if we're not honest, I don't think we can make change because we pretend, we pretend everything's okay. I, I think you're exactly right. Yeah. Honesty. It, it takes, it takes courage and vulnerability to be honest mm -hmm. and especially with yourself um, you know, like diving deep into those things that you, you've been lying to yourself about and, yeah. um, and then, and then sharing that with somebody else, mm -hmm. I mean, and, and being willing to get another perspective and, um, being yeah. vulnerable in front of somebody else. It takes, it takes courage. Yeah. It takes a lot yeah. of courage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you, and, 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 you know, even as you go down the road of like, um, you know, like next time when we do our next episodes, it'll be like, okay, I still felt the same way or, or maybe you won't, I don't know. But like, there's this thing where you're like, you know, it just, it just the courage doesn't like, I would say over time it gets easier and easier, but, but then, but then as a leader, you keep expanding into the next part of the conversation, which is new and unfamiliar. And so there's, it never ends. That's my point. It never, you're going <laughs> to, you're a leader the discomfort never ends because the journey keeps going to uncharted waters, you know? Right. And even if you're not leading people, you're leading yourself. So, yeah. you know, you're always going to be learning something. Your journey is always going to take you somewhere and, and you're always going to have yeah. that, that push yeah. from the universe to, to better yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So if we made this, so if we were um, going to take this uh, life lesson from Anna, thank you, Hannah, for, for <laughs> throwing yourself under the bus and, and leading us into a, uh, a vulnerable conversation. I think, um, you know, if you're listening to this, you, you don't, you only have to look in a couple places, right? There is something that you, um, there's some place in life where self doubt and judgment happens for you. And maybe it's around food. Maybe it's around work. Maybe it's around relation. There's some place. And what there is to do is look for where you have those conversations and then start to like, uh, you know, like your coach told you, Hannah, like start to look at what are you saying to yourself mm -hmm. and get, get into, I think it's like, stop having the conversation that's disempowering and start playing with the conversation that feels good. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, you can write down those lies that you've been telling yourself and be aware of them and then, then find the truth. It's like, mm. no, I do have something of value to, to say to people. People have come up to me and said, I love your show. Keep it up. Like mm. it's, it's impacting people. It's impacting people. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that, that I've, I've struggled with is that lie I've struggled with. It's, mm. as you said, you keep doing it and you, you slowly, um, chip away at that yeah. and it gets, you get better at it. Um, and just connecting with people, I along I've always felt kind of alone for a long time, and hmm. I think the the fear of rejection is is strong. So so being vulnerable to people is is very scary because you're you could be rejected right. at, at at such a deep level. Yeah, and I think that's why people um, are so scared of of yeah. putting themselves out there. Yeah. I, and it's, it's such a paradox because I actually think like where your real strength starts to come from, like where you start to feel strong mm -hmm. is in going into the shadows, going into the confronting and looking in the face of the lies and the stories and the things that don't feel good and speaking truth, like you said, but speaking truth to it. Like once yeah. you can steer your own fears in the face and 
and stay there long enough. Like it's, if you go down there, you're like, ah, oh, I don't like the way this feels. And then I, and then I deflect right out of it, right? Versus right. going down, looking in the face and being able to be like, this is super uncomfortable, but then tell truth to it. And in the space of that, feel the truth. And all of a sudden, the minute you feel the truth in the face of the lie, mm-hmm. the, the, the power dynamic shifts in your own mental dialogue, right? Yeah, and, and you've learned you've learned how strong you really are and you face that yeah. that lie and that, that demon and you mm-hmm. you've come out the other side mm-hmm. more enlightened and mm-hmm. more aware of of how to move forward. And it's no longer gonna pull you down. Right. And if it does try to pull you down, you've you've you recognize it. You'll right. see it right away. Yeah, totally. So, Yep, mm-hmm. totally that. Yeah, I love that. That's yeah. so good. Well, Hannah, this is the beginning. I mean, I think a lot of times this is the beginning of people's journey for inner health. Like it's it's not the diet, it's not the it's not the it's not all this it's not all the external stuff. Like the beginning of inner health starts internally with like the stories and all the places we sabotage or shrink or 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 are fearful of change, right? right. But inner health requires change. It does, yeah. yeah, and 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 you're not always going to be like it's kind of like thinking, well, what's your idea of success? What's your idea of failure? And just kind of letting those go and and realize you're going to have ups and downs. Yeah, it's not always going to be a high. It's not always going to be a low. But you have to embrace all of it because without those ups mm-hmm. and downs and those trials and tribulations yeah. or the good times, you wouldn't have the experience that shows you the way that shows you the truth. Yeah. So you, you have to embrace yes. all of it. So good. Okay. And I want to say this to you specifically, even though this is your show, but I want to say this to you while others listen, like the thing is, this is what, this is what makes you such a great leader. You know, and I know you've said like, Oh, you know, am I a leader or whatever, but I feel like this is what, I just want to say this to you publicly in front of everybody <laughs> listening. Like this is what makes you a great leader because if you can hold that space, sometimes leaders, it's not, it's not your job necessarily as a leader to have all the answers, but it is your job as a leader to hold the space for the conversation. This show does that. Mm-hmm. I think your vulnerability and willingness to, to share that, what hasn't worked for you, all of that holds the space for us to begin to inquire about our own self-doubt and what's stopping us from the health we want to see. And, and so that is where I feel like there's such strength in what you're doing because you're holding space and holding space is much harder than Googling an answer and sharing it out with the world, you know? Exactly. Yeah. 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 It takes real, real strength to hold space. And that's what you do. So, so, uh, gracefully. Well, thank you, Chris. (laughs) Yeah. It's awesome. It's amazing. I love it. So if people want to learn about you, they want to, they want to, um, have a massage. I mean, guys, listen, how how cool would it be to have a massage from somebody who thinks about the world this way? This is so awesome. (laughs) Right. If they want to have a massage with you or they want to talk to you, they want to ask you questions about starting their own inner health journey. Like where can people find you? Yes. So you can go to innerhealthproject.com and you can find all the shows on there. You can also get my contact info there. Perfect. Um, also there's a Facebook page, inner health project nice. on Facebook. So if you have questions, if you want a, a topic that you want us to cover, mm. you can go into that and um, it's, it's a group. So you just, you know, Perfect. join in and you can join the conversation outside of the, awesome. the show. So good. Hannah, thank you for putting this work out into the world. And um, I look forward to catching you in the next episode. Thanks, Chris. Mm-hmm.